Okay. So obviously Nala is uh, your, your your baby, <laughs> yeah. you know, and how did that come about? Um, yeah, so quick backstory. So yeah. I'm, I'm Tanzanian. I grew up in Tanzania. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get Kiswahili, Kingereza, okay, uh, Sapsan, yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's the only thing you guys have about Kenyans. Kiswahili. <laughs> I mean, we got better music too. Ooh, but let's we'll, we'll, we'll go we'll there, get into that. We'll, yeah, get into that. we'll get into that. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. So yeah, I grew up in Tanzania. Um, you know, when I was 17, I moved to America. Mm-hmm. I got a scholarship to go to school there. Nice. And then um, I started a career in television. So I used to be a TV host in Tanzania. Started wow. at 17. Uh, I used to be hosting TV shows here and there um, and then got involved in payments when I was 19 uh, when we we're trying to enable people to pay for M-Pesa TV subscriptions 19? yeah Damn. Through, mobile, through mobile money okay um, and so you know a, a team and I got involved in, in that and like yeah. that was my first exposure to mobile money and mobile wow, payments wow um and like i was like wow you know back then it was like one transaction a month you know mm, if that now and mm. now it's like billions of shillings moving a day um and so that was my first exposure to payments i didn't really realize how big it would be or like what yeah, part of my career it would get into um and then when i finished and i got i moved back home which is an, a topic we should discuss <laughs> um and you know start work continued my career in television mm. and then i moved to the states uh for grad school and then i moved back to start nala mm. um you know, for for example, for for undergrad and grad schools, also on scholarship as well. Mm-hmm. So um, I always felt privileged, and I was given opportunities that mm. many people who from Tanzania or East Africa or Africa in general would never get, mm-hmm. right? And yeah, so yeah. there's always this element of figuring out how I can contribute back to the uh, continent. I think many people, when you go abroad or you know the diaspora community, you're always trying to figure out, okay, how can I still stay connected? How yeah, can I? Yeah, yeah. And you get told the same three things: go home when you're ready, go home when you have enough money, go home when you have enough experience. But yeah. what is how much is enough money? How yeah, when yeah. Are you how do you ready? measure that? Yeah, and, mm. and like when is enough experience, right? And so, about one day, take it home, start working on Nala. Wow. 